Hi guys, welcome to Family Create. In this video, I will show an easy method to cast or mirror your Android device screen to your PC. With the help of iMyPhone Mirror 2 app, you can do pretty much everything you do on your phone on a bigger screen using a keyboard and a mouse, making navigation seamless. It's a simple three-step process to install and use. I have the full license and I'll be going through some of the key features later on this video. Using Mirror 2 app, you can play mobile games, live stream, watch movies, use social media apps, make video calls, get your office work done, screenshot and record, etc. Before we start, just to quickly mention, I have two free Mirror 2 app licenses to give away to my viewers, courtesy of iMyPhone. So if you want to be in for a chance to win, watch the full video, I will give details of how to enter the competition at the end of the video. As you can see from here, you can try the free trial version which gives access to limited features. And once you upgrade to the full version, you can enjoy unlimited features. Okay, so let's download and check the application out. Those of you who are using iPhone, just to mention the developer has confirmed that an iPhone supported version of Mirror 2 app will be released very soon. So the Mirror 2 app enables you to cast your mobile phone onto your Windows PC. As you can see here, I'm using a MacBook Pro through Bootcamp running Windows 10. To start casting your phone, you will need a USB cable. The USB cable you use to charge your phone will do the job. I'll be using this one to connect my laptop to the phone. Once installation is complete, run the Mirror 2 app from the desktop of your PC. You need to open settings on your device and follow these steps to enable the developer options and USB debugging. I'm just going to show you on my phone quickly. Go to settings. As you can see, my developer mode is not activated. That's why it's not showing here. So to enable it, we'll need to tap on about phone, followed by software information. Tap seven times on build number. You may see a pop-up message prompting you with the countdown to enabling your developer option. You then have to type in your password, which I'll quickly do off screen. Next. And you can see now it says developer mode has been enabled. If we go back now, we can see the developer mode is visible under settings. Let's tap on the developer option. This takes us to the next step, which is to enable USB debugging. As you can see on the screen, it's picked up the phone immediately. Click on OK and it will connect to the phone. Galaxy Note 9, OK. Permission detection in progress. It's now connected to the phone and the phone is now casting onto the laptop. I will now cast to a bigger screen from my laptop. I don't have to, but I prefer to as it's much nicer experience to use a bigger screen for everything. It's a 27 inch Dell monitor. So let's move to the bigger screen. I'm going to quickly show you key functions starting with keyboard mapping, screenshots, turn off screen. So this button will turn off your phone screen. As you now control your phone from the PC, there is no need to keep the phone screen on. This is for screen recording. And this will maximize to full screen. This will take you back and this is your home button followed by menu, keyboard mapping and this will minimize the screen. Under setup you will find general settings where you can change multimedia settings such as picture quality, video recording frame rate, format and so on. There is a very useful step by step user guide on how to set up the app and navigate through all the different functions. There is a video which you can also follow, as well as how to use keyboard mapping on your computer. Moving on to gaming. The benefits of mirroring your phone to a PC is you get to have an amazing and immersive experience of playing these popular games on a large screen without lag. If you find this video useful, a like and a subscription will be much appreciated.
here I am screen recording. As you can see, screen recording is very simple to do and you can save your recordings to your preferred location on your computer as well as instantly view them. You can also screen record using keyboard shortcuts by holding down Alt plus V. For more keyboard shortcuts, check out the guide. Here's another very popular game, PUBG. I'm mapping the keyboard to create an on-screen game controller for this game. So you can map your keys to create a virtual on-screen controller, which will enable you to play the game using your keyboard as well as the mouse. These are the virtual buttons which you can configure according to your preference. Also, the controller size can be adjusted. As you can see, I am now able to control the game's character using my laptop keyboard which I configured earlier. Those of you who are interested in the Mirror 2 app, I will leave a link in the description box for your information. Okay, let's check out our my phone website for price plan of the Mirror 2 app. So there's options of monthly plan, quarterly plan and a discounted yearly plan. To be in with the chance to win one of the free Mirror 2 app licenses, all you need to do is leave a comment down below stating what would you use the Mirror 2 app for most, gaming, work, watching movies or something else. I will select two winners randomly and notify them by replying to their comments. That's all for today guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, do take care. Bye bye.